Hello again, and welcome to the third in our series of being well dressed and what do our clothes say about us? So far, we've actually looked at how God himself clothed Adam and Eve. And then we looked at how the king gave Joseph royal robes. And today we're going to look at the parable of the lost son, the prodigal son. We know the story well, and uh, we know how the younger son squandered his share of the inheritance on fast cars, loose living, even while his father was still alive. We know he ended up starving, friendless, feeding pigs. And this is enough, of course, to bring anyone to their right mind. And so he decides to return home. He prepared a little speech for his father about how sorry he was for his past bad behavior. And uh, he was uh, not expecting very much, but he thought his father might take him on as a servant. And this is what we read. It's in Luke chapter 15. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you, and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. And so he got up and he went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son and he threw his arms about him and he kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against you and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to the servants, bring the best robe, put it on him and put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Here once again, we read of a father giving his son the best robe. Did the son deserve it? Well, you bet he didn't. But that's love and grace in action. A note in my Bible takes us to Isaiah. Isaiah 61, verse 10. And this is what we read. I delight greatly in the Lord, and my soul rejoices in my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation, and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. For a long time, I used to think that when we're clothed in the righteousness of Jesus Christ, that his righteousness just only covered my own rotten sinfulness. But underneath the righteous robe, it was all there still, hidden. Not so. How many times do we confess that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin? Not just forgives, but cleanses us. And we know that a divine transaction has taken place. A swap, if you like. Jesus swaps his righteousness for our sin. Did we deserve it? Well, emphatically not. That's love and grace in action. By the way, coming back to the prodigal son, the robe didn't make him the son. He was already the son. His father recognized him and gave him the best robe. God bless you.